Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting project update to share with you guys. So I showed this project in my last video where I showed you all the whips I was currently working on. And it is the little Clementine lovey that I'm making for one of my really good friends um, for her baby shower. She's having a little baby girl. And her party theme is Clementine's, which I think is such a cute <laughs> party idea. Um, but I knew I wanted to do something Clementine related. So of course I went scouring Pinterest and Etsy and everywhere else and I came upon this pattern by Sarah D. Crochet. Her um, Etsy shop and the pattern will be linked below. She also has a YouTube channel with some really helpful um, videos to help with this project. So definitely check her out. She explains things very, very well. She has a very calm and like soothing voice and is uh, has great video quality. So definitely check her out. So as most of you know, if you've been following my channel, I just got into Amigurumi maybe like six months or so ago. And so I love that this little lovey combines a little blanket with a little amigurumi all in one. So I'm gonna just show you the finished project. Um, it was a little challenging. I definitely wouldn't say that this is a beginner project. Um, I would definitely say intermediate, but if you just take your time and follow the steps and watch her videos, you can definitely do it. Um, obviously for me, the sewing was the most difficult part. <laughs> um, and I'm just hoping that it all stays together well. So here it is. How cute is that? Um, I used the, I love this yarn in ivory. I also used a couple big twist yarns in the sage color and in this orange color. And for the Clementine itself, I used um, Bambootiful by Yarn Bee. Um, this is, I don't know what colorway this was. I didn't have the label anymore. This is actually the yarn that I used to make my crochet tank top that I showed in my crochet wardrobe video. But this is a three weight yarn. Um, so I used that for the Clementine and then for the little leaf and for the border. And there's also a stripe of it in the blanket itself. Um, I used just a cotton yarn. Um, I think it's paint box yarns in just a green color. So for the little cheeks, I also had a little bit of Bambootiful in a pinkish color. It's more of a mauve color, but I think it still looks good. Um, and I really love this. It was challenging, as I said, to make just because there's a lot of sewing. And, you know, when you're making something for a baby, you definitely want it to be safe and secure. Um, and so making sure that it was really secure without it looking sloppy or without distorting it at all was a little bit of a challenge. But um, I am happy with the way that it turned out. So when I originally did this pattern, I didn't realize, or when I found the pattern, sorry, when I bought it, I didn't realize it had these little arms on there. I thought it was just the head um, sewed onto the blanket. But then, you know, as I got into the pattern and realized it had these little arms, like how cute are those? And you secure them to the head on each side. I did make a little mistake where I ran out of yarn um, sewing one of these arms. So um, I kind of had to finagle it and hopefully it's you know it feels secure it feels nice and secure um but thankfully you know with this person being my friend that i'm gifting this to um i'm just gonna let her know like hey if anything happens with this um let me know and i will try my best to repair it for you <laughs> but i think that it is very secure i'm very happy with the little face so normally i've used safety eyes for the face you know the mouth is easy but I was really nervous about doing these eyes. I've just never done anything like that before. But she explained it so well. That was one of the parts that she made a video for to go along with the pattern. And so I'm so happy she did that because I don't think I would have been able to figure it out without that. So, um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the way that turned out. And I definitely want to maybe do more embroidery for eyes on other Amigurumi because safety eyes are cute and they are easy. But just having a little touch like that, the little eyelashes, I think it just adds something special to it. Uh, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I kind of wished I would have made the lovey part just a little bit bigger. Um, I don't think it needed to be much bigger, but uh, I am happy with it overall. So I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this little lovey. I cannot wait to see her reaction. 
Um, I just think she will love that it goes along with her theme. So I will try to film a little video of her opening it up um, so you all can see her reaction. But this is probably one of my most favorite things I've ever made. How many times do I say that? <laughs> I feel like I say that about like every project that I make, but at least I love the work that I'm doing. <laughs> That's what keeps us invested, right? It's just being so um, happy and satisfied when we complete something that was a challenge. So anyways, that is it for today, guys. Just a short little video. I just uh, wanted to show this to you guys before I gifted it to her tomorrow. So um, the verse I want to share with you today is one that we are memorizing for our mission trip, and it is Romans 10, 13. And it is for all who call on the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved. And that's amazing. Like, all other religions in the world, I think, are based on works. And even though we are called to do good works, we do it because of the love that the Father gave us when he gave us a, a sacrifice for our sins so that we could be made right with him. And out of that love, we in turn just have to have faith that Jesus did die for our sins um, and we can be secure in our faith and know that we will have eternal life with God through our faith and, and in that knowing how much he loved us um, and how much we love him in return that pushes us to do good works so it's not the works that get us into heaven into eternal life with him but it's the faith um, and and then the works that follow that show that we are a changed person, that we have that good fruit being produced in our life from a relationship with the Father and with the Son and with the Holy Spirit. So I hope that that made sense. Uh, again, if you ever have any questions for me, crochet related or faith related, please feel free to reach out to me. You can comment below. I love chatting with you guys. Or um, you can also send me an email. It is kristencrochets at yahoo.com. And again, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I pray that you guys have an amazing day. Um, please consider subscribing if you like to see what people are up to, what they're making, and are just obsessed with yarn and crochet content. Please consider subscribing, and it would really help me out if you would like this video. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and I pray you have an amazing, amazing day. May God bless you, and I'll see you super soon in the next one. Bye!